Let's write the formula for acetone. So for acetone, this is actually the official IUPAC preferred name, but it's a bit of an older name. So we can get some information from it, but we can't really figure out the formula just by looking at the name. We do note that it ends in O-N-E. And when we see something ending in O-N-E, we're thinking we have what's called a ketone that ends in O-N-E. For a ketone, we'll have a carbon and have a double bond to an oxygen. On either side, we'll have carbons. So we could start out by just writing the structure for the simplest ketone. Let's do that. So the simplest ketone we could draw, we'd put our carbon with our double bonded oxygen, and then we'll put a carbon on either side. So this is the simplest ketone, and it turns out to be that this is actually acetone. Acetone is the simplest of the ketones. If we wanted to write the molecular formula, often we'll see it written like this here. We have two of these methyl groups, there's two CH3, one here and one here, and then we have a carbon double bonded to an oxygen. That's right here. That's what makes it a ketone. So that's one way to write the molecular formula for acetone. Sometimes just count up the carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens, and you get C3H6O. This has a little more information for us. So that's how you write the formula for acetone. It's a ketone, CH32CO, or just the C3H6O. Do note that the systematic IUPAC name for acetone looks like this. And from this information, you could easily figure out the formula. There's a link to a video explaining how you do that at the end of this video. This is Dr. B with the formula for acetone. Thanks for watching.